Hi again guys, I just thought I'd give this quick tutorial on how to fix the parity on the cross cube here and this is a situation you'll quite often find yourself in at the end of the solve you've just done the um, uh, cuboid algorithms on the final 3x3x5 here to fix the last few edges and you'll find yourself in this situation where the, these set of edges here are rotated from their solve position including this end now it's obviously it's easy enough to fix this square on the side here you just turn it back to its proper position um, but you're left with these two strips of three in the incorrect position. Now unfortunately you can't actually just swap them out because it's only possible to ever swap um, three sets of them at one time, not two. And that's the parity problem here. This is actually a, a, a sequence I developed on the Popman cubes that I'm a big fan of. Um, it's a situation I often find myself in when solving those and after lots of trial and error trying to fix this I eventually realised what was going on and came up with this easy sequence to fix it. So here's what I do. I have one of the sets of the edges on the front face here and I do this sequence of moves. Now when I say F I just mean the literal square on the front. If I say U I mean the 3 by 3 square on the top. But if I say R I mean this entire section that has the two strips unsolved on it. So when I say R, don't turn this bit, turn this whole X-shaped piece. <coughs> For U and F, you turn these two. So here's how we start. You do an R, U2, R prime, U2. Now this puts lots of um, unsolved edges in a row around. Now all you're going to do now is just rotate it by 90 degrees to solve one set of these three edges that was originally unsolved. So now you can see I've got the yellow face solved and none of the others are now solved. You can now just go ahead and solve it as you usually would with something like this. You can see I need to swap lots of strips of three. So basically you just turn it 90 degrees, do a U2 and turn it back. You can then put this in the red side correctly. So U2 and back. So that's the red side solved. You can see we've now got one, two, three strips out of position, which is what we want. And we can now fix that with the usual algorithm so you just do an R, U2, R prime. You can see that's fixed the parity there. It's, it's as simple as that. Um, <clears throat> what we've actually done in that is rotated this side by 90 degrees and resold everything with this side rotated. That was the parity problem. It's this puzzle has got another 3x3 three three inside and it's um, been solved in a different format even though it's unstickered to what it was in the original solved puzzle and basically made it impossible to solve in that situation. So once, but once we've rota rotated this face 90 degrees, it then puts it in a solvable position, and with the sequences I showed you, it's very easy to to solve. Okay, then guys, that's it for this tutorial. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. Um, I will see you again next time. Take care now. Bye.